Hello everyone, welcome to the Codeverse. In last video, we have learned about class, object and functions. In today's video, we will be learning about what is constructor, why we use it, real life example of constructor. Also, we will see the syntax of class, object and constructor. So, what is constructor? Constructor is a special function which is used to initialize object of a class. Consider a class person. When we want to add new person to our system, then we have to create object of it and we have to do some manual activities like giving name, adding gender, etc. Every time when new human object is created, we have to repeat these activities. Here constructor comes in a picture. Instead of doing all this activity manually, we can use a special type of function called constructor. Constructor will initialize all of this variable for us. Constructor will automatically get invoked when we initialize the object. Let's see some properties of constructor. Constructor is a special function, so it has some special properties like name of constructor is always same as a class name. Constructor doesn't have any return type. Constructor automatically gets invoked when object is created. There are total three types of constructor. First is a default constructor, second is a parameterized constructor and third is a copy constructor. Let's see the syntax of a class, object and constructor. First, let's define a class. First comes class keyword followed by name of a class which is person in our example. And after it in curly bracket we have to define member variables and member function for a class. In our case member variables are name, age and gender. We have given access specifier as public. Soon I will be making a separate video on it. But for now, consider public means we can access this variable outside class also. When new human objects get created, then we have to initialize these variables. For doing it, we will take their name, gender as a parameter or as an input to the constructor. Constructor doesn't have a return type and its name is same as a class name. So we will directly define it as a class name and parameters in parenthesis. In our case, class name is a person. And we will be taking two parameters, first is the actual name and second is actual gender. And then we will initialize it to our member variables. And then we will create a getter and setter method for variables gender and name. Now let's create object of a class person in a main function. Syntax for creating object is same as a syntax for creating a variable. First we have to define a return type of object. Since this object belongs to class person then its return type will be person and let's give it a name as a p1 so our syntax will become person p1 now initialize the object using constructor and pass parameter as a name and gender so our syntax become person p1 is equal to person and parameters as name and gender so for now we will take name as a adam and gender as a male similarly we will create a second object also which is which we will name as a p2 and pass the parameter as eu and gender female now if we try to print p1 dot name then answer will be adam and if we try to print p2 dot name then answer will be eu and same thing for gender always remember if we are passing parameter to the constructor then it is called as parameterized constructor and if we are not passing any parameter then it's called as a default constructor you can see examples of it on your screen that's all for today's video soon i will be starting new video series called java in animated way so if you are interested then please subscribe to the channel see you in the next video thank you